Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sanjana Vij, Assistant Professor, Amity Institute of Education, New Delhi. Today I am going to discuss with you the topic, Professional Teacher of Today. If a country is to be corruption free and become a nation of beautiful minds, I strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make a difference. They are father, mother and the teacher. These are the quotes given by Abdul Kalam. Teaching profession. What is teaching profession? The teaching profession is one of the oldest and respectable profession because it is from here that every citizen takes the first step towards learning. Student is the first place where the child's behavior and future is given a shape. The role and the responsibility of the teacher undergo change from time to time according to the expectations of the parents, students and the government. What are the characteristics of a good teacher? A good teacher cares about the students. Good listener, listening to the student's concern should be his best policy. True friends to the students, she should develop students' overall personality. She should have passion for teaching, which is a very, very important passion. Combination of knowledge and communication is also his or her strengths. She should be able to identify and work on students' strength and weaknesses. She should focus on morality and values with subject knowledge. She should be self-motivated, which is a very important point. She should be motivate students to develop passion for knowledge, innovation and creativity. And inculcate discipline as a habit is utmost important point. Now the teachers are responsible for many tasks. For example, preparing lesson plans, teaching classes, evaluating students' progress, acting as guide for students, maintaining discipline in the classroom, running extra co-curricular activities like sports, music, dance, communicating with parents about students' progress. Nowadays, the emerging role of the teacher is very different. The world is always in a state of change with the changes and the changes take place all around. Thus, it is very important for the teacher to change and introduce innovation in teaching methods as per the current needs of the society. Technology can help teachers to make their teaching methodologies more appropriate and their assessments more accurate. E-learning, video presentations have made learning better and enjoyable for the students. This has empowered teachers to make their teaching more interesting, but it is also a challenge to keep abreast with the latest technologies and make their optimum use. The education system has changed completely. The teacher needs to be creative, innovative and a talented guide. First and foremost role of the teacher is to help construct knowledge and transfer personality of the student. In the 21st century, the role of the teacher is changing from being a teacher to that of a mentor. She may not necessarily have to teach a subject in a conventional sense and may use the latest technologies like videos and other online tools to deliver the content. Access to computers in schools has provided teachers with a new channel to deliver the course content to students. But no technology can replace the role of the teacher. I am repeating, but no technology can replace the role of the teacher as the onus of finding the right content remains with the teacher who has to put in additional time to build up their content knowledge. Knowledge can be acquired from anywhere, but education without teacher is like body without a soul. Bill Gates comments about the essential role of the teachers as technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids together and moving them teacher is the most important. A teacher is just like an actor 
who has to play many roles such as facilitator, researcher, leader and reflective practitioner. Teacher as a facilitator. A teacher is not just a source of knowledge but also a facilitator. If teaching is a professional job, facilitating is the role of the teacher. The teacher has to motivate the students and encourage them to discuss their viewpoint. The teacher has to interact, discuss the topics with the students and make the teaching process interesting. Techniques and methods like laboratory work, field trips, discussions, seminars, etc. should be used with the purpose of producing good interaction among them. Machine cannot identify the learner's need, level of mind and his situation. It is the teacher who identifies and recognizes the child with his potentials and talents, abilities and disabilities, merits and demerits, capacities and challenges and leads him to the goal. The teacher will remain at the heart of the teaching process. It is the teacher who helps the child find the meaning that is both personal and relevant in an ever-growing sea of information. The increasing use of learning resource materials is transforming the role of the teacher as facilitator. It is the responsibility of the teacher to facilitate the student to understand these learning materials as per the courseware requirement. Teacher as a facilitator, this changing role of the teacher is also reflecting in the constructive approach to the learning in which knowledge is constructed in the mind of the student and is constantly involving. These are the lines given by Brooks and Brooks in 1993. The modern academic world has introduced constructive approach leading to inquiry-based learning which believes that student-centeredness in education is very important. With this exemption, students have become the center of focus of all the teaching and learning process and the activities conducting during the classroom. Students play an active role in the teaching learning process and teachers take classes on the basis of experiment, practicing using simulations, role plays, project works, group work, discussions, problem-based learnings and use of technologies. Teacher as a leader. The role of the teacher as a leader is one that needs to be embraced if the teacher wants to function effectively in the classroom. The teacher has to monitor the system, plan, organize and lead the activities to a sustainable development. A teacher is a leader of his students. He or she inspires them cares for them and most importantly teachers role is to generate interest in the students. A teacher therefore has to see himself as a leader and lead his students for the excellence in the learning process. The role of the teacher leader is to shape the culture of their schools, improve students learning, influence best teaching practice among their peers. Qualities and skills of teacher leaders, for example, passion, communication and rapport with the students and with their colleagues, flexibility and tolerance is a very important point and commitment. There are also many other points like confidence level, emotional intelligence, coaching skills, teaching expertise and relationship skills. Now, teacher as a researcher, especially action research. Action research is one form of applied research. Action research is a strategy which the teachers can use to investigate a problem. It can also be used for an area of interest which is relevant to day-to-day -to -day teaching routine. It provides the structure to engage in a planned, systematic and documented process of professional growth. The modern teacher daily faces challenges during teaching 
to provide an effective learning environment for all the students in the classroom. These challenges raises questions that the teacher attempts to answer to improve the professional practice. The approach of action research is to encourage the teachers, administration and other practitioners to do research in order to improve them. It promotes and develops inquiry mind and helps to deal with the teaching learning practices by applying research based strategies intervention to find feasible solutions. Teaching is a profession which employs methods and procedures based on the theoretical knowledge and research. If the teacher wants to become professionally effective, she should take up the action research so that his students become independent. For example, if a teacher finds out that most of the children in her class are weak in reading English and their pronunciation, fluency and intonation are not correct. She should try to think of various reasons that can cause poor reading skills by the use of action research which is a very very important skill for the teacher to adopt in 21st century. Teacher as a reflective practitioner. Reflective teaching is a process where the teachers think over their teaching practices, analyze how something was taught and how the practice can be improved or changed for better learning outcomes. Reflective teaching means professional development which begins in the classroom. It is an ongoing process because once you start implementing changes, then the reflective and evaluative cycle goes on continuous basis. Reflective teaching process involves many areas. For example, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? How effective it is? How are the students responding? How can you do it better? Every teacher has a professional responsibility to be reflective and evaluative about their practice. As a result of the reflection, you may decide to do something in a different way or you may just decide that what you are doing is the best way and that is what the reflective teacher is. So in the whole, we have learned that in teaching profession, the most important thing is that the teacher should have love and passion for the teaching. She should love her students unconditional. Teacher is also referred as a guru in India. Technology can help teachers to make their teaching more appropriate and effective. First and foremost role of the teacher is to help construct knowledge and transform personality. Teacher's responsibility is not limited to cover the academic side but also to perform the role of the counsellor for the student and the society. Thank you.